So this is where I buy my blueberries at. And as you can see, they're just nice and big and juicy. And I just really enjoy making my blueberry pies with these. Welcome to Diane's Homestyle Cooking. Today, we're going to make a homemade blueberry pie. You're going to need eight cups of blueberries. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the blueberries and remove any pesticides or any dirt. I like to wash my blueberries in distilled white vinegar. So I have a bowl of water and I'm going to add one fourth cup of vinegar. I'm going to rinse my blueberries under cold water and then I'm going to put them in this bath and let them sit for about five minutes. Once you've finished soaking your blueberries, you're going to want to rinse them one more time under cold water. You want to pour half of the blueberries into a bowl and then you're going to use one cup of sugar plus one fourth cup of flour. So I like to pour half my sugar in when I have half the berries in. And then I'm going to pour some of the flour and I'm just going to toss them gently. My blueberries are slightly damp because I rinsed them under cold water. I just wanted to say that um, I never liked blueberry pie my whole entire life and now I just love blueberry pie. I have a friend, her name is Faye, and she had me over for dinner one, one uh, evening and she had made fresh blueberry pie for dessert and I'm sitting there and thinking I love dessert as anybody knows I have a sweet tooth <laughs> so I'm thinking oh blueberry pie. Well, let me tell you, it was the best blueberry pie that I had ever eaten. And uh, ever since then, I asked her, I'm like, hey, what do you do? So she kind of told me what she did. And so I've been trying to follow it as much as possible because I think sometimes um, a little bit changes because of the size of the pie dish. And I always like a deep dish. So my dish will hold a... Um, cups of blueberries. So I think um, every pie can be a little bit different, but I, I really enjoy a large dish. I just really enjoy tasting the blueberries. So now, believe it or not, this is my third blueberry pie that I have made this season so far. And I also made uh, at least four batches of blueberry pancakes. I freeze them. And I did four batches of blueberry muffins and I also freeze those. So I like to take advantage of the blueberry season and do as much as I can with the blueberries and freeze them, eat the fresh pies and my husband's been loving it. And as he said, um, I don't know if it's more of a northeast thing, I'm not sure, but in Texas they do more of the peach cobbler and fried pies. I wish I would have had a chance to make my father-in-law and mother-in-law one of these pies because I think they would have really enjoyed it. Okay, so I'm just going to let this sit and let the sugar soak in and start to dissolve a little bit while we work on our pie crust. 
So now we're ready to start the pie crust. You're going to need three cups of all-purpose flour, You're going to need one egg and you're going to need one and one fourth cups of butter. I didn't get to tell you why I didn't like blueberry pie. Well, sometimes if blueberries weren't in season, and I guess I really don't remember eating blueberry pie fresh when I was younger. I just don't recall that. But anyways, I know whenever somebody used the can of blueberries, what happened was I would get, and that's why I didn't really enjoy blueberry pie as much. And the berries are really quite different in a can versus fresh blueberries. So if you haven't had fresh blueberry pie, I highly recommend that you try it. And you might change your mind like I did and blueberry pie could become one of your favorites. You're also going to need six tablespoons of water. So you're just going to pour in a little bit at a time and I'm going to use my pastry cutter and I'm going to work the flour and the butter and the egg and a little bit of water in. I'm going to mix all the ingredients now. Make sure that your butter is softened at room temperature. And you just want to add a little bit of water at a time. Sometimes the weather can make a difference on the, the outcome of your pie crust. It can be too soft or it could be firmer. So I like to uh, play it safe and pour a little bit at a time. I like my new spatula. My daughter-in-law gave this to me on Mother's Day. I thought that was so nice. She knows I enjoy cooking. As you all know, I went to the Massachusetts, and as I mentioned in my Sturbridge Village video, that my daughter had made a strawberry rhubarb pie, and it was delicious. It was the first time that I had a chance to uh, try strawberry rhubarb pie, and I did like it. So that was uh, that was new for me. good to do when strawberries are in season. And I really enjoy this uh, pastry cutter. It's really deep compared to the very old one I used to have. I had a, a real old one and, and it, was, it was just a lot smaller. So I enjoy having the bigger one. So if you do invest in one, look for a taller one. Make sure you get all the flour that sits at the bottom. You want to stir it over so you can work it all in. And I think I'm going to use the remaining water. It was so nice to go to Sturbridge Village. I used to go there when I was a kid and it was always such a pleasant place to walk and I used to enjoy just taking in the grounds and it was just so pretty and then I really enjoyed listening to how it used to be back in the colonial days, how they used to live in the 1800s. It was pretty interesting and 
I think what's so nice about uh, Sturbridge Village is they have so many events that go on throughout the year. So you never know who's going to be working at what shop, who's going to be sharing what. And I like that. I like that. So if you haven't had a chance to watch my video from Old Sturbridge Village, I suggest that you go watch it. You might really enjoy that. Okay, so this here is all worked in. So now, now I'm just going to scrape it and I'm going to um, mold it into a ball. since it's a little bit muggy and warmer today, I'm going to get my flower board going and I'm just going to put this into the refrigerator for 10 minutes. So sometimes when it's cooler, then it's easy to pick up and to uh, basically put it to your pie dish. So let's get that into some wax paper and put it in the refrigerator for 10 minutes. We're going to need to spray our pie dish. You can use pan. But I prefer to use butter, so what I'm going to do is I just take a paper towel and then I just start working the butter all around the dish. And for extra measure, I like to put a little bit of flour. And then I just like to tap it. Okay. So there you have it. So we're going to start by putting some flour on our cutting board. And then I like to take my rolling pin and I just roll it into the flour. Just go back and forth and get it covered with flour. And I still like to have a little bit more flour. What we're going to do is we're going to cut it in half. But I do recommend putting it in the uh, refrigerator. It doesn't hurt it at all. Now that I have half, I'm going to form it into a ball all over again. like to drizzle just a little bit of flour on the top. Now I'm just going to work it and, and shape it into my round pie dish pan. So go back and forth. I like to go back and forth with the rolling pin and just try to keep it as round as possible. And be gentle. You don't need to be pushing hard on it. And as you can see, my rolling pin needs a little bit more flour. So I'm going to add just a little bit here. I 
just love blueberry pies. There's nothing like fresh blueberries. These uh, blueberries come from Gallup, Washington. And I just love how they're so plump and juicy. And I really look forward to getting them each year. And I really enjoyed picking blueberries with the kids. This year was a lot of fun. This is the first time I picked blueberries other than my grandfather's house. So that was kind of fun for me to do. So now this definitely looks big enough. And what I normally do, to be, to be certain, I'll take my pie dish and I like to just eyeball it and just kind of see what am I looking at. So I would say I could go just a little bit more that way. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my uh, pastry food scraper here and I'm going to go underneath and just work it all the way around. And once you know that you made it all the way around, then I just like to go real fast and flip it. And then I'm going to flip it again. Then I'm going to put my scraper right underneath it. And I'm going to put my pie dish back here. And then I'm just going to try to make sure I have it in here evenly. So you want to make sure that it kind of comes over the rim. Then, then it's just nice to gently just make sure that you have it right. Oh, I almost broke it. So now I'm going to pick it up. Gently go over. Okay. So now I'm going to work it around from the bottom. Main thing is you just want to make sure that it goes over the pie dish. Now I'm going to trim it. I just use a butter knife and I kind of go maybe a fourth of an inch over the rim. My husband also loves blueberry pie now. I think I'm looking pretty good. So once you have, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you just, cause I'm gonna be playing with it and tucking it in after, so I just kinda will shape it a little. Now we're going to put our blueberries in. Um, a blueberry pie with a smaller dish, I probably would use three-fourth cups of sugar and I still would use one-fourth cup of flour and the flour is just going to thicken it and it's going to help prevent spills in your oven and it's just going to be nice and juicy. It's just wonderful. It makes a nice syrup. The flour will really make a nice syrup. It's so simple. The two ingredients for the blueberries, just the sugar and the flour, so that's pretty good. So let's just get the rest in.
most of the time, probably a lot of people would use six cups of blueberries. And like I said, I just used three fourth cups of sugar with one fourth cup of flour. So you see how eight cups in this pie dish just is, you know, just really fills it up nicely and it makes a really nice high pie. So now we're gonna do the top. So I repeated the same step that I showed you earlier, put flour on the board. You're gonna make this into a nice round ball. Make sure you have flour on your rolling pin. And now we're going to shape this into a circle. to be uh, difficult to roll out and get to be um, not moist. You want to kind of have a nice, like Play-Doh. You want it to be nice and easy to roll. Okay, this is still looking pretty good. This is gonna be perfect. So I'm going to get my dish and I'm gonna we're gonna check it. It looks perfect. So now we're gonna put it on top. So we're just going to take our scraper here, put it underneath again. Fold it real fast. Be gentle with it. Oops. And then I'm going to put the pie dish back. Now I have it down. I feel pretty good about that. you get to where you want it. So now I'm going to cut around the edges. You can put a little bit of flour on your knife. like to make an apple pie. Been waiting for my uh, ginger apples to come out. They come from Washington State and um, I really enjoy the ginger apples to make an apple pie. So we will see if I can get some. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to seal the edges. I just kind of pick it up, push them together and go all the way around. Just it's like a pinch and just keeping your finger in there. Well, I'm glad you can't see the flower on my shirt. <laughs> As you know, I can be messy when I want to be. And that's okay. And don't worry if it's not perfect. As long as it tastes good, that's all that matters. And what we're going to do is I'm going to put some little holes in this and you're going to wait for this to um, bubble. And once you know it's bubbling inside, then you know that the sugar is dissolving and blending in to make that nice, syrupy, juicy 
blueberry pie that we want to taste. Oh, I just love the syrup that it makes um, when it all mixes together. And then I usually I'll let it go for about five minutes. I just want to make sure all the sugar is dissolved. So that's all you have to do. And then I'm going to show you what else I do. So we're going to put some little slit holes in here. Maybe we'll make this one a little larger. Okay, so there we go. And I'm going to show you another protective measure that I do on this. What I like to do is I like to put a little bit of milk on it. Helps to brown it just a little bit lightly. I'm going to also go over the edges as well. I like to just lay the tin foil over it. That really does help for the crust not to burn. It also, if you have like a baking pan or um, some type of cookie sheet pan that you can put under the pie to prevent spills, that's wonderful. Cookie sheet on the lower rack, just to be sure. Well, as you can see, we are finished. I was just curious how many of you had taken advantage of the blueberry season and did you get a chance to bake anything with fresh blueberries? If you had, I would love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and please share. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please consider to do so. Thank you so much for watching. See you the next time.